What's up, everybody? I'm the sports judge. I hope everybody is having a great weekend, a great Saturday. That USC game gave me high blood pressure. USC football has the weirdest wins I have ever seen. Lord, this game had my head hurting. What more can I say? This is the second heart attack the USC defense has given me. How the bleep has this team not put me in the hospital yet? They scared me last week against Arizona State. They gave up a lot of points against Arizona State. They do it again this week against Deion Sanders and the Colorado Buffaloes. USC defense gave up 564 yards to Colorado. How can a program like USC not have a top-notch defense with stars at all three levels? I, I, I don't get it. It's incomprehensible. That's pathetic. That's the story of a sad and pathetic defense. Absolutely terrible. Red zone deficiencies. Rush defense is trash. Pass defense is a liability. And Alex Grinch. Yeah, you knew his name was going to be mentioned. Alex Grinch is softer than melted ice cream. Grinch is incredibly fortunate that the other side of the ball will always give him 45 points to work with. Yes. And Lincoln Riley doesn't put a main point of emphasis on the defense to be more physical and more dominant. The defense is not very good. Once again, we saw it against Colorado. This defensive unit is not well coached. I've been saying it over and over again. Alex Grinch has to go. What is it going to take for Lincoln Riley to finally fire him? USC defense is trash. This USC team has the best offense in college football, the most exciting quarterback in the country. Caleb Williams, he's going to be a top pick in next year's NFL draft. Caleb Williams tied a career high with six pass passing touchdowns and was largely unstoppable, and USC was able to score at ease. USC still has had to escape Colorado after a brutal second half performance from its defense. But Williams, he was impeccable once again. Williams shows off exactly why he's a clear Heisman front runner. I don't see any reason why he shouldn't be in conversation to win the Heisman for back-to-back -back years. And people say, well, he can't win it back-to-back -back years. Yes, he can. After his, his exhilarating Showing Williams further solidifies his Heisman case. USC wins this game, but I'm not happy. Does it look like I'm happy? Not at all. The defense is concerning. It was 48-21 at one point in this game. It looked like USC had put them away. It looked like USC was going to run away with it, that they were going to be able to get their players off the field by the second half. Not at all. Major turn of events in the second half. The only way we can stop offenses is with disruption and takeaways. That's the only way. Alex Grinch runs soft zones where nobody covers anybody. It's, it's terrible. It's, it's, it's hard to watch. Colorado's defense never found an answer for the, the nation's high, highest scoring offense in the first half. So the Trojans took advantage. You, you saw K Caleb Williams hitting Mario Williams. He fired a dart to him up the middle. And Mario Williams catches it in the back zone. The, the Trojans scored five touchdowns in their first seven possessions of the first half and took a 34-14 lead into the locker room at intermission. But the Buffs hurt themselves with first half miscues. There was a lot of mistakes from the Colorado Buffaloes. Jace Feely missed a 41-yard field goal attempt. He should have made it. Shador Sanders threw his second interception 
of the season in Colorado Territory and Buffs Buffs punter Mark Vesette had a kick block deep in Colorado Territory that gave uh, USC a short field. So USC was able to take advantage of those mistakes and you know um, the lead eventually would balloon uh, to a 20 point, about 20 points. But then here comes Colorado in the second half. Colorado's offense never quit. This team showed resilience. They didn't give up after USC took a 21-0 lead following the interception. The bus manufactured a seven-play, 75-yard scoring drive. Um, they were able to kind of get back into it. Jimmy Horn Jr., uh, um, Sanders was able to find Jimmy Horn Jr. to cut USC's lead to 21-7. He found him in the end zone, and then they made things interesting. Colorado defense then came up with a big stop on a few possessions that was able to, that's how they were able to get back in the game. Uh, but again, it, it's, it's USC's defense that's the problem, and I was fuming. I was hot. I was heated. I even did a rant video. I went off. I completely went off. Because I have seen enough. This is unacceptable. How can you win a national title with a defense this lousy? You can't. You can't possibly be thinking about a national title with a defense this bad. You're not going to win with a defense like this. Defense wins games. That's the old cliche, right? Defense wins games. Well, USC doesn't really have a great defense. The defense scares me. The defense gives me nightmares. The defense is hard to watch. The defense is a problem. They got guys that can't tackle anybody. That's been the issue. You got guys that can't tackle. The defense is soft. You know? I don't, I don't, I don't understand Alex Grinch's schemes. I, I, I really don't. Alex Grinch is the problem. You did upgrade your defensive coordinator. It, it, things got to change defensively if USC wants a chance to contend for a national title. Otherwise, it's not going to happen. USC is going to be stuck in the same place that they are now. Alex Grinch is horrible. USC will never get good results on D with him around and as long as this team is soft. I'm telling you, every week, this man looks completely lost and confused. He doesn't know what he's doing. I wanted to believe in Alex Grinch. I really did. But at this point, I've seen enough. The offense is going to do its thing. The defense, you don't know what to expect from the defense. You know they're going to give up a lot of yards. You know they're going to give up a lot of points because that's been the common theme each week, right? They're going to give up a lot of points next week too as long as Alex Grinch is their offensive coordinator. I said after the game, leave his ass in Colorado. Let him stay there. Don't let them fly back with you. Leave them there. Because this, this defensive unit is soft with Alex Grinch as their, their defensive coordinator. But USC survived on the road. They get the W. They improved to 5-0 on the season. That's the positive. You can, you can take away the positives and not focus too much on the negatives. But I was, I was hot earlier. I was heated. Thanks for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. If you like all my content, please do, do hit the subscribe button and, and come back for more content. Thanks, everyone. You guys have a great Saturday. See you guys next time.